The 5 Second Rule by Mel Robbins On a cold winter day in Boston, at 6 in the morning, book author Mel Robbins woke up to the sound of her alarm buzzing. Like most of us, she's used to pressing the snooze button over and over again. She decided to change how she starts her day. Instead of turning over in her bed, Robbins silently addressed herself 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then jumped out of bed. Mel Robbins called this habit the 5 second rule, which she used to counter the negative incentives that frustrate people from doing a lot of work in their everyday lives. Mel Robbins discovered that this simple habit may help distract us from fear, laziness, and procrastination by redirecting our attention to what to do immediately as opposed to delaying. If we followed the 5 second rule on a continuous basis, we could overcome our negative emotions and direct our energy to accomplishing our goals. Robin started incorporating the 5 second rule in other parts of her life. She used it to push herself to go for a run or even just get her work done as quickly as possible. Whenever she felt lazy or put off, she would say to herself 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and start working immediately. To further illustrate the idea, in 1954, the psychologist Julian Rutter formulated a concept known as control. This concept explains why most people feel that external forces are controlling their lives and it also shows that who feel in control of their lives tend to be more productive. We are often asked to watch and seize opportunities but in reality, it's better to create the opportunities ourselves. The 5 second rule is an effective way to regain control of your personal life and ignore all obstacles and external circumstances that hinder you from achieving your goals. By to remember, the 5 second rule is a simple habit that pushes you to drive laziness and ignore negative energies in your daily life. When we take any major step in our lives, we usually tend to plan and wait for the right moment to make our final decision even though we know that the most appropriate moment may never arrive. In one study, 85% of employees abstain from providing feedback to their managers because they wait for that moment. Some of the most successful people in history were in that waiting trap. In 1976, Steve Wozniak worked as an electronic engineer at HP. That same year, Wozniak was working on a personal computer design, and although he offered the design to HP management, they refused to approve the design five times in a row. In return, his friend Steve Jobs offered him to start a private company and start selling Wozniak's invention themselves. In their first attempt, Jobs and Wozniak were able to sell their first computer for $666. That year, there was a man named Paul Terrell who owned an electronic store in California. Terrell had heard of Wozniak and the company he founded together with Jobs. Terrell called Jobs and offered him $25,000 to manufacture 50 of the computers Wozniak developed. Jobs was ready to accept Terrell's offer directly, while Wozniak was in doubt whether it was the right moment to quit his job at HP. Wozniak wanted to stay longer in his current job and was unwilling to take this risk until his friends convinced him to finally take it. By the end of 1976, Wozniak quit his job at HP and together with Jobs founded Apple which has become one of the most valuable companies in the history of the world with a market value of over a trillion dollars. All major goals require us to make critical decisions in our daily lives, but we tend to postpone making those decisions by convincing ourselves that today is not the right day. Ultimately, we may spend most of our life waiting for the right moment and it would never manifest itself. The 5 second rule is a tool that helps us overcome moments of self-doubt and waiting and pushes ourselves to take the steps we always wanted to take. Bye to remember, do not wait for the most appropriate moment and start the pursuit of your dreams now. Many people feel inspired by professional athletes of sports that require tremendous amount of time and effort to train for. These are people who have the determination, focus and discipline to push their minds and bodies to their absolute limit. Many of us may think that these professional athletes possess capabilities that exceed the capabilities of a normal person, but when they are closely monitored, we find that what distinguishes them from ordinary people is in fact a major feature of great importance, and that is their ability to isolate their feelings and emotions. Despite feeling very tired during a long marathon or an extra time in a football match, a professional athlete has the ability to break away from that feeling and continue running and competing until the last breath. Athletes realize that emotions are only secondary signs that are sometimes better to ignore, especially when they prevent you from reaching the goal.
Follow-up to professional athletes may give us an important life lesson because most of us depend on emotions and feelings when making decisions rather than logic directed towards a specific goal. According to a neuroscientist, Antonio Damasio, our emotions are the determining factor in 95% of our decisions. Damasio conducted research on people suffering from brain diseases that prevented them from feeling emotions and feelings. Although these people were able to determine the pros and cons of the options before them, they were unable to make any decisions in the absence of feelings. This work prompted Antonio Damasio to believe that feelings are the primary driver of human decision making. By to remember, you cannot always control your feelings, but you must isolate them in order not to affect your choices and decisions. There is no doubt that many people are vulnerable to anxiety which may be the result of the way parents raise their children. During childhood, you may hear many parents directing their children to be more cautious when playing outside or instruct them to wear better clothes in order to avoid the flu in the winter. As a result, many adults spend a lot of their time worrying about things that are out of their control. They end up regretting the precious times they wasted in anxiety and negative thinking. Dr. Carl Plemmer, an expert in psychology for the elderly, has spent more than 10 years engaging with more than 1,200 elderly people. Through his conversations with them, Dr. Blemmer found that most elderly people believed that they had wasted much of their time worrying about nothing. It is clear from this that our time in this life is something more valuable and important than we spend in fear and anxiety about the future. So the 5 second rule may help us control feelings of anxiety and live a better life to the maximum extent possible. If you begin to feel negative feelings coming up, stop and start counting from 5 to 1 until you regain control of your feelings. Once you get to 1, Ask yourself these two questions. What are the things in my life that I should be grateful for? And what positive feelings can I remember? Answering these questions will help you shift your focus away from anxiety and to the more positive aspects of your life. Always remember that there are important parts of our lives, such as our social relationships and goals, that we aspire to achieve. So use the 5 second rule to remind yourself of your highest goals. By to remember, do not regret the time you spend thinking but redirect your feelings for gratitude and positive energy. Thanks for watching. Please follow our social media accounts. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, comment below and share your thoughts on our book summary for this week.